All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting the good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you as well. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative and take it one day at a time. Most definitely. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights, getting us through the week. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son who died for our sins. There's plenty of things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures forever. Amen. So always keep him first. Always worship him, praise him, thank him, trust him, call him, sing to him. Give your heart to him, people, and always just lean on him and her forever. Amen. Most definitely. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us always pray for each other, intercede for one another, comfort each other, support each other. All those great, awesome, amazing things, people. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be together on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth. All the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to all the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship, and the services. Much love to the previous martyrs, the current martyrs, and the future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for his namesake, who are being persecuted for the faith. Stay strong, stay strong, steadfast, encouraged, and firm. We are with you always forever. Amen. Much love to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds all over the world. Much love to all the grafted in believers. Much love to all the great tribulation saints, all the brand new creatures of Christ, all the born again people, the Holy Spirit filled people. Much love to all of you out there. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you as well. Anybody who was having encounters, dreams, visions, and occurrences, God bless you also. If you did not repent and get baptized, Go repent and get baptized ASAP immediately. Shalom, family. Greetings to all of you. Welcome, everybody. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faiths, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains, the insects. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High, sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise Him. Rejoice, always rejoice, make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound, cry out to Him, dance, express yourself, play an instrument, do what you have to do for the Most High. He is always watching us, so always serve Him with gladness and joy, and always worship His Spirit and truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in the twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let us be alert, sober, vigilant, watchful, prayed up. Washed by the water, by the word. The washing of the water through the word. Let us keep our lamp in oil. Let us stay in our purpose and call for the most high God. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the most high has told us personally according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, our circumstances. Handle it, people, most definitely. Keep it all together for the most high, y'all. Keep the faith Keep the word of God. Keep the testimony of the Messiah. Keep the laws, statutes, commandments, decrees, precepts, ordinances, covenants, judgments, charges, or observances. Keep all of the Torah. Amen. Write a copy of the Torah from Genesis all the way through Deuteronomy. Jot by tittle, line upon line, precept upon precept. Write all of the Torah and keep it near and dear in your heart. Embrace the new covenant. Amen. Now, today's message, what I would love to do is give you all the daily devotion on the email, and then I will close out with the prayer. I will close out with the priestly blessing. I will close out, give all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. 
All right, let's see what we have here. Your daily prayer is based within the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 40. And further into the daily devotional, it quotes, Spiritual growth begins with a thirst for God's word. Amen. Today's daily devotional is based about young Messiah, young Jesus standing behind in the temple during Passover. Despite his parents' concern, Jesus was deeply engaged in learning and teaching. The story highlights his early understanding of his divine mission and his growth in wisdom and favor. Story, Bible in a year, young Jesus. Scripture, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and, f and in favor with God and man. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. Have you ever felt a deep sense of purpose even from a young age? Jesus, even as a boy, demonstrated a clear understanding of his mission. During an annual Passover, Passover visit, Mary and Joseph realized Jesus was not with their group as they left Jerusalem. After three anxious days, they found him in the temple, deeply engaged in learning and discussing God's word with the priest. What can we learn from young Jesus' dedication to his purpose? Despite his tender age, Jesus showed a remarkable commitment to understanding and teaching God's word. His eagerness to learn and his profound questions astonished the religious teachers. This incident highlights the importance of nurturing our spiritual growth from a young age and seeking wisdom diligently. How do you respond when God's plans are not fully understood by those around you? Mary and Joseph didn't fully grasp Jesus' actions, yet he respectfully obeyed them. Returning to Nazareth, Jesus' obedience to his earthly parents, while fully aware of his divine mission, teaches us the value of humility and submission in our relationships. What steps can you take to grow in wisdom and favor with God and others? Jesus' growth in wisdom, stature, and favor with God and man exemplifies a balanced life dedicated to spiritual, intellectual, and social development. As we reflect on his childhood, we are reminded to seek continuous growth in our faith and to live a life that honors God in every aspect. Amen. Reflection. Reflect on your own spiritual journey and areas where you can grow in wisdom and favor. Are there aspects of your life where you need to seek more understanding or show greater humility? This week, commit to deepening your relationship with God through prayer, study, and reflection. Emulate Jesus' dedication to learning and his obedience to his parents. Amen. Scripture, and the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Luke chapter 2, verse 40. The prayer. As I continue to grow, I thank you that I am increasing in wisdom and understanding like Jesus. Even when others don't understand the magnitude of my calling, I will remain true to what you've placed inside of me, Lord. I choose to understand that sometimes the people close to me won't understand my anointing, and that's okay. Nevertheless, I will not shrink or play small when it comes to walking in my divine identity. With Jesus as my focus, I will learn to walk and talk in confidence as he did. I am ready to live to my fullest and be involved with my Heavenly Father's business. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. He is the Lord of the armies. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Hallelujah. Praise him. He is the God of David. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God. His only begotten son died for our sins and rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us. Hallelujah. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord. He is the advocate. Hallelujah. Praise him. The almighty, true, living God. Praise the Lord. The Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, Wonderful Counselor, the Creator, the Dayspring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, Eternal Life, Everlasting Father, Faith and True Witness, Faithful and True, the Faithful Witness, the First and Last, the First Begotten, the First Born from the Dead, First Born of all creation, the Forerunner, the Gate, the Glory of the Lord, God, the Good Shepherd, the Great High Priest, the Great Shepherd, the Head of the Church, the Hair of all things, the High Priest, Holy and True, the Holy One, the Hope, the Hope of Glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, 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 Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Nassai. 
Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the lie of the world, the lion 